switch up game on fleek come on i'm gonna wait on facebook to build me an audience it's been a minute how are you guys how are you guys come on in come on in begin to hit tag and share mm -hmm. hallelujah it's been a minute how are you how are you everyone come on in come on in Come on in, begin to hit tag and share. Begin to hit tag and share. Great morning, people of God. This is my first live video of the year. So many people have been messaging me saying, Evangelist Shakira, you got to come on live. It's been a minute. It's been a minute and everything like that. But y'all know I will not come on, um, people and God, unless, you know, uh, God is telling me to come on. So, hold on. I'm trying to pin the information to the bottom also just come on in people of god begin to hit share and begin to hit tag i have such a inspirational word for you today's message if you are just now tuning in is i had to switch up so i can get up i already feel god i'm already in the mood to inspire to uplift and to motivate let's get all of the highs out of the way hello how you doing happy 2022 blessings upon you all i need you very very quickly to hit share people of God and tag eight people, eight people you love, eight people you care about, eight people you want to motivate on today. I am believing God to do something inspirational. Listen, people of God, this is the first live, the first live of the year. So I'm believing people of God that this live, listen, is about to set the atmosphere and the pace for the rest of the year for 2022 for you. Today's message is I had to switch up so I can get up. Bishop Isaac, how are you? Alvicha, I love you. Shay Red and Tori, rather. I love you so much, Queen. Life Queen, what's up? I see all my taggers. And share is Life Coach Queen. What's up, baby? Come on, begin to get tag and share. Begin to get tag and share. Begin to get tag and share, people of God. When I tell you, it is beautiful in my backyard. Listen. In such a great mood today. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Help me upset the devil. I know this is an unexpected live. So a lot of people, they not going to be on right now. Some people, uh, uh, they still sleeping. Guess what? They say the early bird get the worm. So whoever's supposed to be on here is going to be on here. Just give me a minute, people of God. I'm inviting some people to the live also. Come on, come on, come on. Push a little bit. I just need you to tag eight people this morning. I ain't asking for much just for you to not be stingy with this uplifting word some of you just scroll past somebody two seconds ago people of God watch this and they were posting crazy just saying they going through it and how the year is already starting out bad and come on come on I need y'all to push a little bit come on come on come on come on I just want to inspire somebody on this morning y'all know baby I cannot get started until I, I I feel like everybody is on here. So uh, who's supposed to be on here? The Bible says that where two or more are gathered, he is in the midst, people of God. So the only way, watch this, we can come on one accord for the things you're needing God to do and believing God for is if, watch this, when I say something you like, you can get shared. You can get tagged. You can comment below. People of God, thank you for sharing Mary Anderson. Listen, do you know that it's something about when you're going through, you can still tag others who are going through. You can still uplift somebody else when they're going through. It's something that, that it's just something about that, that let the devil know you ain't never scared. Today's message, come on, for 120 more seconds, is I got to switch up so I can get up. Come on, push people up, God, 120 more seconds. I need you to tag like crazy. I love you so much, Mama Gail. <laughs> I love you so much. Uh, well, my daddy at though. I ain't studying you. What daddy Gene at? Listen, come on, come on, push a little bit. I already feel God. I'm, I'm just in a great mood this morning. Come on, come on, push a little bit, people of God. I had to switch up so I can get up. I have learned that so many people, Keisha, I just seen you yesterday in the nail shop. How are you, Patrina Walker? Congratulations on becoming an author. Alvicha Brooks, congratulations on becoming an author. People of God, I am releasing this 
a book with amazing women in it. It's called Now Here's the Real Truth. We're dropping it on January the 29th. Uh, God told me all 2022, he's sending me to uplift and to build the women. So it's so many women out there that they've, they've wanted to become authors and different things like that, but they didn't know where to start. And God has just been placing the women on my heart. So all 2022, you'll be seeing me posting things I'm doing to uplift and inspire women. But today's message, if you are just now tuning in, is based Baby, I had to switch up so I can get up. I am realizing, people of God, watch this. That when you decide to make up your mind and you decide to say, I don't want to live that way anymore. When you decide to make up your mind and you decide to say, I'm not going to lower my standards anymore. When you decide to make up your mind and you decide to say, I ain't walking down that road again anymore. It's at that very moment that people begin to think you acting a little funny. It's at that very moment that people begin to think you stuck up. It's at that very moment that people begin begin to think you think that you're all that or you're better than them. Nah, baby, I don't feel that way. I just had to switch up so I can get up. Do you know people? I dare somebody real quick to just comment below. I'm switching up. I'm switching up. Everybody's been waiting on me to drop a live video since 2022 came in, but I feel like it's too many live videos going on and not enough people being touched. So I will not go live unless God, the spirit of God tells me to. But watch this. I'm just here to set the pace for 2022 for you. I'm here to drop some wisdom and knowledge and understanding in your spirit real quick. So you can watch this. Go through 22 with a breeze. You can walk through 22 like I'm just chilling. I gave it to God. And ever since then, I've been chilling. Watch this. It, it, it's, it's when you decide to say, I got to do something to different to better my life. That the enemy begin to attack you more. It's when you decide to say, I got to switch it up a little bit. That you'll find yourself in that lonely place. It's when, watch this, God begin to do some things a little bit different in your life. You begin to watch this, see that, you know, not everybody too excited about your progress. I am here to tell you, the one that's watching this video, baby, you got to switch it up a little bit ever since. Watch this. I decided to change some things in my life. The people I was running with, I can't run with them no more. So watch this. I got to switch up so I can get up. A lot of you are stuck and you're bound. Watch this. Mentally, physically, financially, emotionally. Come on, can I talk about it for a minute? It's because you're continuing to be around the same people who have had you stuck. What are you saying, Evangelist Shakira? Some of you are laying up, watch this, and catching the same STD uh, year after year after year. Evangelist, what you say? I ain't talking about AIDS. I ain't, I ain't talking about, you know, uh, gonorrhea and syphilis, baby. I said STD, sexually transmitted demons. Some of you can't get up off of that married man's... Uh, Hold on a minute. Hold on. Hold, hold, hold on a minute. Let me introduce myself really quick because somebody might be on here who don't know me personally. How are you? I am Dr. Shakira McFadden. And on my page, baby, you're going to get clarity, knowledge, wisdom, understanding, and realness. So let me go back to what I was saying. I got to switch up so I can get up. Some of you are still stuck in the same place because year after year after year, you're still catching the same STD spiritually transmitted demons. You're still laying up with that woman's husband. You still laying up with that man who don't mean you know well. You can't get up off the D. Could I keep it real with you? Because it's just too good. Listen, let me free somebody for 2022. When you begin to switch up, sis, he ain't never leaving his wife. He been telling you that for the longest. He ain't going to marry you. He gave you that engagement ring that's really just a promise ring years ago. You know, and women, as women, we know when it's not right. We know when it's not getting better. We know when we have no business doing it. But you got to begin to switch up your mindset. You got to begin to switch up and get up out of your feelings. So Somebody ought to comment below, baby. I got to get out of my feelings. You should not still be stuck in that same situation. You ain't even married to him, sis. And giving him marriage access. What is marriage access, Evangelist Shakira? He got the keys to your house. He got the keys to your car. He can come and eat up all your kids' oodles and noodles. He can just do whatever he want to do with you. He ain't going to marry you. Why? Because you already treating him like a, um, your husband. And he don't even deserve it. People of God, listen. You have to 
begin to switch up so you can get up. Your mentality has to change in 2022. Oh, don't be mad with me. Don't kill the messenger, baby. I just want to set somebody free this morning. I need somebody else to just tag really quickly before I go on three more people, three more people. I don't care if they sleep, baby. Wake them up right now because you and I know some people that needs to hear this. I got to switch up so I can get up. Some of you people of God, watch this. You got to switch up even your crowd. You can't hang around. Let me, let me, let me, let me back that thing up because I might have said that real quick. Let me, let me back that thing up because I might have said that real quick. You got to switch up your atmosphere. Fear. You got to switch up your crowd. You got to switch up who you call in friend. You got to switch up who too close to you. You got to switch up from random people when you have a good idea and you say, I'm going to do something else different. And people go to feel it a certain kind of way or go to talking about you behind your back or watch this. They don't want you to do better than them. You got to switch up from random people who don't clap when you win. I dare somebody to comment below. I'm going to switch up. I'm going to switch up. I'm going to switch up. You've been around the same crowd. That have been bringing you um, around, uh, bringing you down, I'm sorry, year after year. The Holy Spirit told me to come and tell you, the one that's watching this video, baby, that until you switch up, you won't ever be able to get up. You sitting and you're wondering why you have been stuck in this place so long. You're sickening and you're wondering why, why year after year it's the same thing. You're sitting and you're wondering why it's because what's connected to you. Somebody ought to comment below, baby. I just want to, I want to be connected to the source in 2022. Just connect me to the plug in 2022. Listen, I remember when I was buying some stolen stuff from boosters off the streets and they would sell things like that. And you know, they would sell it to me for one price and sell it to somebody else up the street for another price. And then when they ran out of stuff, I would have to go buy from the other person they were selling to. And watch this, even though I know the price was only $30 for this. The other person would sell it to me, watch this for 60, double the amount. Why? Because he wanted to make his money back plus a profit. It's something about when you can go to the plug that you don't need a middle. Oh God, I don't know who this is for. Lord, I, I feel God right now in my backyard. It's something about when you can go to the plug. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? That you cut out all the middleman stuff. You cut out all the schemas and the scammers. You cut out all the people that's trying to come up off of you. Somebody I gotta say it's cutthroat season, baby. All 2022. Scam likely not right now. All 2022, you get what I'm saying? I'm cutting off. I'm cutting off people who are manipulative givers. Watch this. They get upset with you. Come on, somebody. They want you to give and give and give and give. But for some reason, they never have it. Then they beat you getting mad when you don't want to give anymore. Who am I speaking to? Watch this. I got to switch up so I can get up. You got to switch up from around those people. You got to be to a place in your life where you say anything that is disturbing my mental peace I gotta cut it off anything that got me frustrated and bound baby I gotta cut it off anything that got me stuck in my bed and depressed baby I got to cut it off why because I gotta switch up so I can get up again a lot of you are wondering why you're down and why you haven't bounced back and jumped on your feet yet. You better check who you connected to. It's something about when you can connect to the plug. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? You ain't got to worry about the people in the middle. I was buying wigs and hair at $400 and different things like that from, you know, local people and I support businesses, but baby, it was something about when I went to China and I got the direct connect myself. Y'all better not miss this in the spiritual realm. It was something about when I invested in myself to get connected to the plug. Let me tell somebody right now. This year in 2022, baby, you better invest in yourself to get connected to the plug. God is the plug. I want, when I say invest in yourself, baby, you better read your Bible a little more. When I say invest in yourself, baby, you better go into worship. I don't care if take me to the king is the only song you know. You better get in the shower with your nun singing self and take me to the king. I, whatever you got to do, but you better come on somebody. Invest in yourself so you can be connected to the plug, baby. 
I spent about $1,200 on a flight to China and my life ain't never been the same. Now I'm paying this amount instead of this amount. Why? Because I cut off the middleman. I cut off the schemers and scammers. I went directly to the plug. Let me bless somebody right here. You're so busy telling people to pray for you. All you got to do is go to God yourself. You so busy waiting on somebody to stand in the gap for you. All you got to do is go to God for yourself. Baby, listen, somebody ought to comment below. I'm going to go to him for myself. I'm, I'm going to go to him for myself this year. Why? Because, oh Jesus, I feel God. I'm going to go to him for myself this year. Why? Because my prayers are just as good as yours. I'm going to go to him for myself this year. Why? Because he's been waiting to talk to me anyway. I'm going to go to him for myself this year. Why? Because I'm switching up so I can get up. If you are just now tuning in, baby, today's message is I switched up so I can get up. I ain't acting funny. I don't think I'm better than you. I ain't trying to act all bad and bougie, but I got to switch up my life a little bit. Why? Because last year shouldn't have went the way it did. Oh God, I don't know who that is for, but you ought to comment really quickly if this message is for you. Last year shouldn't have went the way it did. I mean, I'm proud of myself because I ain't where I used to be, but I should have been a lot farther along. I, I, I kept some people connected to me that didn't even deserve my work. Mighty God. I can scream right there. You better catch that thing in the spiritual realm. Let me tell you something. My friends who connected to me, I don't play with them. Let me give somebody some advice. Do you get what I'm saying? To who, who, who's connected to a, you know, a group of people. And you can't say nothing to them. Hey, listen, let me tell you something. I, I sent texts out to different friends yesterday telling them what the Holy Spirit told me. Told this one friend, look, you got to get to church on time. Told another friend, I want you to not smoke. I told another friend, you got to get in your Bible more. I told another friend, you better start paying your tithes. Why? Because y'all connected to me. And when people are connected to you, you want them to see you if not doing just as good as you, more better than you. And watch this it takes when you love a person, you will correct them. I want somebody to comment below when you love a person, you will correct them. See, people don't want to be corrected. People get in their feelings when they get corrected. But baby, if you're going to be connected to me, it's a must you elevate. I'm talking to you, the one that's watching this video. If your friend's not trying to help you elevate, it's cutthroat season. It's time for you to switch up so you can get up again. If that man or that woman you laying in the bed with every night, not trying to help you elevate, baby, it's cutthroat season. It, why? Because you got to get up again. We got to get to a place. People, oh God, I feel God, Jesus. We got to get to a place, people of God, where we say enough is enough. I want you to tag three people you love. When I say three people you look, three people you love, I'm to my people, three people you close connected to and say enough is enough. Come on, three people very quickly. Come on, come on, go and do it. Move, move, move. When I move, you move just like that. That's the only way we can get in, in, in on one accord. I want you to tag three people very quickly and say enough is enough. When they come on, baby, they'll see the message. Watch this. You got to switch up so you can get up. It's going to take for you to do things a little bit different. I got up this morning and when I, I barely eat breakfast and everything like that, but where I get, I, I got up and I said, you know what? I, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna have nothing heavy this morning. I just went and got me a healthy shake last night. Me and my husband went out and I spent three hundred and fifty dollars in healthy things to start eating and stuff because I'm getting back on the road to start preaching and different things again like that. And I said, I gotta get my body right. My, you know, my mind is right, but my my body gotta line up. I I, I invested in myself to become something greater. So I got up this morning and I, you know, took my little weight loss drink and things like that and you know and, I, and I, I just got up in a great mood and sometimes people of God you got to set the atmosphere for your day sometimes people of God come on I, I, I may the blessings of God run down watch this on the people who tagged three people and said enough is enough that's the first that's the main problem we got we got a problem with obedience really quick you don't even understand that right there is just a seed in the ground Let, I'm, I'm trying to help y'all set the pace for 2022 i know today what the fourth the fifth something like that and i'm just not coming on because i had to wait on god give me the message and when god gave me the message i got to switch up so i can get up that thing blessed me deep down in my soul watch this in the bible 
when we was talking about Paul um, and he got the name changed, God switched his name up or whatever to Saul. There was a whole switch up process. Do you hear what I'm saying? Sometimes, watch this, when you become a different person or you begin to elevate or you begin to conquer goals, God will change up your identity. What, what are you saying, evangelist? How is he going to change up my identity, baby? I don't look like what I've been through. I don't look like I made it through a marriage where my husband made a child on me. I don't look like people of God. Watch what I'm saying to you. I got a home invasion done on me where I was pistol whipped off a stool and got a gun stuck up in my vagina in front of my children. I don't look like I I, I, I barely made it out of a car and stepped out of it. Watch this. And the car blew up just two seconds after I stepped out. I don't look like I was bound to the hospital for almost two months because of witchcraft. I don't look. Baby, you better hear what I'm saying to you. It's something about when God begins to change your identity that not a devil in hell can do something with you. So let me tell you something. Change is good. Somebody got to comment below. Change is good. Change is good. Change is good. Whether you change up your relationship and get you a new man or a new woman, whether you change up your circle and get you some new friends, whether you change up from that job and get you a better job or start a business, whether you change up your eating habits for your, your health situation, whether you change up, come on somebody, from always thinking negative and begin to speak positive, change is good. Hear what I'm saying to you. So I'm just telling you a little bit. Watch this. Uh, uh, I think it was Acts. Come on, come on, Holy Spirit, give it to me. Acts chapter 7, verse 60. And in Acts chapter 9, watch this. Acts chapter 9, verse 1, or Acts chapter 9, verse 11. Paul, baby, he was on that. Do you hear what I'm saying? I need everybody to, to be able to catch up with me and everything like that. I know y'all saying evangelists, you talking fast, you hype, and I like it. It's because I feel God right now. You get me? But watch this. Um, Paul in the Bible, he was on that. See, I can relate to Paul. Somebody ought to comment below. Paul was on that. Paul was on that. For my people who not from the hood, when you say was on that, that means Paul was about that life. He was a fighter. He wasn't playing around with people. You weren't going to talk to Paul all crazy. He was sent out to be a hit man. He was that person who was on that. Paul is the one. Watch this, people of God. Paul is the, he's the one you want to call. You know how when you finna get in a fight, you got that cousin or that friend that's on that. When you call all them, baby, they're going to strap up their tennis shoes and they're going to pull up. Paul was a pull-up type of guy. I'm talking to my pull-up people, my people who own that in real life. You feel me? Like, that That was me. I'm a pull-up. I will pull up at your house, pull up on your mammy, pull up on, can I keep it real with you? I didn't care if I was fighting your, your little sister who was six or your grandma who was 66. Could I keep it real with you for a moment? These goals ain't here for uh, decoration in the mug shots, not there for decoration. That's in my past. You get what I'm saying? And listen, and even in the church sometimes, you got to pull up on people. I, listen, I know that the Bible say that when you slap a person, you got to turn another cheek, but I'm just not there yet. I'm keeping it real. But you see, I'm an evangelist that keep it real. Watch this. Paul was on that. Do you get what I'm saying? He was a pull-up type of guy. He would pull up on you. He was a hit man. He was the person that would take a person out. He made death threats. He wasn't on no Facebook just capping like a lot of people be doing. They be talking, 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 running their mouth. Then, you, you know, they write uh, statuses on Facebook that reality can't cash. Then when people pull up on them, it's like, oh, yeah. Paul was on that in real life. You understand? So watch this. And, 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 and that was in the book of Acts. Paul was the type of person that, he would make his death threats, baby, and he would carry them through. He was on that. Paul ain't care if he was killing good people, if he was taking out good people. He just was on that. He was living. He was, he was, I'm sorry, it seemed like everybody want to call when I get on live. He was on that in real life. Do you get what I'm saying? Paul was on that because people be telling you, oh, you from the hood or you so aggressive and this and this and that, that God can't do nothing for you like you the worst person in the world. No, baby. I was a whole messed up mess and I came out of it. So watch this, Paul. We and, and and we're talking about. I got to switch up, so I I had to switch up so I can get up. Paul, watch this. He had his identity changed. God had to allow him to be blind, go blind for three days. Do you understand what that's like when you can see? I have a sister. God's honest true people of God. And I said I was gonna bring her on my live one day, maybe tomorrow night. That might be on my gift to y'all. My sister was dating this guy. God's honest truth. And if any of my friends on here, they can say she's not. She, I just want my friends to come and go close to me. She's not lying. My, 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 my sister could see all her life, 30 something years old. 
Got with this one guy was beating the crap out of her. I'm talking about literally me and my husband had fist fights with him. He would beat my sister so bad he would bust the blood vessels behind her eye. One day me and my husband was going out and while we was going out, we left my sister in the house. He was uh, uh, sitting in some trees or some bushes. It was nighttime. We didn't see him, you know, uh, uh, up the road waiting for us to leave. When we left, as soon as we pulled off, he went and knocked on the door and my sister opened it immediately because she thought it was one of us. Me and my husband who left something, no, it was him. He ran in the house, beat my sister, beat my sister, beat her to a pulse. Do you get what I'm saying? End up kidnapping my sister, taking her over to his house, right? My sister, I, we, me and my husband came out, came back home. I'm like, my sister, went, she's not here. She's not answering the phone. She wouldn't leave the lights on. So I'm calling, 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 calling. I said, I'm going to give it to tomorrow because she had cut him off for maybe two months. So we're not thinking nothing of it. The next day we call, we call and call and call and no answer. My sister finally answers the phone and she calls and she's crying, right? This is the whole day. So he beat her for 24 hours. He was getting high, had a gun in her game, beating her, beating her, beating her. Somebody need to hear this who is, who is allowing a man to beat on them. Listen, you ought to tag your friends who are in abusive relationships. They need to hear this story. Finally, my sister called us the next day, the next night, and she said to me, watch this. She said, sis, I need you to hurry up and come over here in Sunland Park. It's some girls just jumped me. I said, what you mean? She said, I'm over to Jay's house. This was the guy's name. I'm over to Jake's house and these girls from Sunland just beat me, you know, beat me bad. They messed me up. So I call my other sisters. I call my husband. We shoot over there. I'm trying to get over there so quickly. That I'm not even thinking that he could have did it. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? I get over there and I, I, he, he's sitting out the door. He's smoking. He's getting high. I said, where, where the F is my sister? I'm telling you the truth. My sister come out the door and both of her eyes are bloodshot red. The color red, like blood. Lip big, face black, black eyes. I'm like, what the hell going on? So I'm, we, we running around looking for the girls. Because this is what my sister said. The police came and everything. They put my sister in the ambulance truck. We leave. When we on, on, on my way to the hospital to follow my sister to the ambulance, my husband said, sis, you not thinking. I mean, baby, you not thinking. Say, what are you talking about? My husband said, man, that man did it. Talking about her boyfriend, I thought about it. I said, nah, because my sister would have said it and we could have had him arrested right then, right? He said, he said, nah. No, nah, we could have got him arrested right then. So I, I went in the hospital. When I went and I got to the back, I said to my sister, I said, don't lie to me. Because sometimes when you love a person, you will continuously allow them to do you wrong. Remember today's message, if you are just now tuning in, is I switched up so I can get up. Watch this. My sister said to me, she said, you know what? Um, she said, she started crying. She said, sis, he did do it. I was pissed. I literally wanted to punch my sister in the face because we could have sent him to jail there or we could have jumped him. I'm being honest. We could have, whatever. I, listen, I still to this day, I believe God didn't allow my sister to tell me that because I didn't know he had a gun. He could have killed me. You understand trying to fight him right there. He could have killed me. We came over there with a car full of people. He could have shot and killed us. So anyways, we're in the house, but I wanted to jump on my sister because I want to get him arrested so bad for what he did. The police went back there. He was gone. People of God, let me tell you something. Right after that, my sister had to have brain surgery. She is completely blind because of the abuse. God warned her over and over, leave this guy alone. God warned her and she was in love with him. Do you get what I'm saying to you? He would beat her. She would take him back. He would beat her. She would take him back. He wasn't her husband, just a guy. He, she's dating. Listen to me, people of God, because we got to do something different. I am begging and I am pleading. You got to imagine what I'm saying. 30 something years old could see all your life, all your life. And one wrong decision, taking a man back, beat him. She had to have brain surgery. Everything. My sister is completely blind. She can do nothing on her own now. Do you get what I'm saying to you? I remember her saying to my, my daughter the other day, she said, what do you got on? It was Christmas. She came to my house to eat. She said, what are you wearing? What do you got on? She was like, how you look now? How, you know, just asking because it's been years. She don't, she, the last time she seen my daughter, she was six. 
My daughter is 17. You better hear what I'm saying to you. I don't know who this is blessing. And you ain't got a comment below. I'm in the, I'm going through this situation right now, but we are starting in 2022 and you got to switch up so you can get up. You do not deserve this anymore. You better hear what I'm saying to you before I watch this. You end up dead. Listen to me. My sister asked my daughter, what do you look like now? She wished she could see my grandkids and different things like that. And let me tell you something. People of God, if she can do it all over again, she would. He's in prison. But guess what? That don't justify for her eyesight being gone the rest of her life. On church New Year's Eve, she gave a testimony that she had three strokes. Three strokes and two seizures. Everything is connected to the root. The root is she lost her sight. Which had to cause her to get brain surgery. We had to, which had to cause her, you know, to be blind. And just going through it. Do you hear what I'm saying? You got to switch up so you can get up, people of God. I'm talking about in the Bible. Paul was on that. He was that type of person. He was, he would, he would, if they sent him out to kill somebody, baby, he was a hit, man. It was done. He didn't write checks that he couldn't cash. He was on that in real life. But God, watch this, caused them to be blind for three days because he had to use them. Don't let nobody tell you God can't use you. I don't care if you're using drugs. I don't care if you, you out there stealing. I don't care if you're selling drugs. I don't care if you, if you, if, if you breaking into people's houses. I don't care what you're doing wrong. God can still use you. So God allowed them to go blind for three days and then God sent an angel. Somebody ought to comment below, Lord, send my angel. Lord, send my angel. I don't care what situation you are in. Lord, send my angel. And he sent Ananias three days later to restore Paul's sight. You better get what I'm saying to you because sometimes we get so caught up in the world, our situation and our finances. People of God, watch this, that we can't, uh, 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 hold on. Let me block that Bridget person who is asking for money. Those are fake pages. You see the cartoon characters. Listen, people of God, watch this. Some of you, some, some of you, you're blinded by love. Some of you, you're blinded because you've been this person friend for so long. They keep on crossing you, keep talking bad about you, keep doing you wrong. They're not putting as much into, you know, the friendship as you are doing it. Some of you, you're blinded by, you know, just having to, okay, provide, provide, provide. So I'm out in these streets. That's why I don't judge prostitutes. I don't judge strippers because you never know what people got to do. I don't judge people who be out here stealing in the stores. I don't judge people with a background because I've been there. Yeah, everybody done did some crazy things to provide before I've been there. Do you get what I'm saying to you? God had to send an angel to restore his sight. God, listen, let me tell you something. Especially I'm talking to y'all with a call on your life. You can run from God all you want to. Keep sick. You better Let me get close so you can hear me. I'm talking to you, the one that's watching this video right now. There's an anointing and there's a call on your life. It's not by coincidence right now. Watch this. Come on. It's not by coincidence that you've seen this video. It's not by coincidence that I am on your timeline. There is a call that's on your life. And you can run from it all you want, but eventually you will have an encounter with God. And Paul's encounter with God, people of, of God, was God allowed him to be blind for three days. I couldn't do it for 72 hours. God, right now, I thank you for my sight. Somebody else ought to comment below. God, thank you for sight. Thank you for sight. My sister don't have that anymore. And then God sent an angel. He sent Ananias. And when he sent Ananias to restore his sight again, watch this. Ananias said, hello, Saul. Oh, Jesus. Let me back that thing up because somebody might have missed it. I said, sometimes, watch this, you got to switch up so you can get up again. To, uh, God, God, when we get to change your identity, he went to, he when watch this, when, when God calls them to be blind, his name was Paul. Paul got a reputation of being on there. Paul was the biggest and the baddest. You ain't want to mess with Paul. But then Paul got an encounter with God that caused him to go blind for 72 hours. And then he sent an angel. I call him an angel because his life changed ever since then. And baby, he had to be an angel to restore his sight. All of the, 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 the nurses and the different people who are working with COVID right now, those are heroes. Those are angels working in the hospitals and stuff like that. Listen, God sent him to restore his sight. 
And then in the Bible, people of God, watch this. I think it's Acts 13 and 9. Acts 13 and 9 or something like that. It said, you know, and then as he restored his, his sight, he, he, he said he got a little soul. He had a name change after his encounter with God. His identity was changed. I went from uh, 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 selling drugs to delivering the word of God. I went from Shakira to Dr. Shakira. Let me speak into the life of you, the one that's watching this video. I don't care if you've always been a Section 8 baby. I don't care if you've came up in the hood and out of poverty where your mama been on food stamps or not you on food stamps. I don't care if you that mother who got seven different kids, seven different baby daddies. It's something about baby when you have an encounter with God that your whole identity begin to change. Somebody ought to come in below, God, I just need one touch of you. It's something about an encounter, just one touch of you that can change everything. And I truly believe that we are in a season, people of God, watch this, where things are going to get better in 2022. You are in a season, people of God, watch this, where things are beginning to lighten up. But what you got to do first is you got to switch up so you can get up. I don't care if they say you acting funny. I don't care if they say you thank you all that. I don't care if they say you you acting bougie. I don't care if they want to know why you don't want to do the same because it's kept me bound. Tanya, it's kept you bound, Tanya Parker. It's time for you to switch up so you can get up again. Switch up from all the things of God you know you shouldn't be doing and come forth prophetess. There's a people who need your voice. It's time for you, Aretha Jones, to switch up so you can get up again. No more playing with God. No more acting like you don't know you called. That thing, that person, that place, that thing that have kept you bound from doing what you desire to do. You got to switch up so you can get up. Not going into 2022. I switched up so I can get up again. Yeah, it might, it might cause some heartache. Because I love this person. Oh, God, I don't know who this is for, but baby, you better receive it. I'm talking to you, sis. I'm, I'm talking to you, bro. It might, it might hurt a little bit in your heart. Because you love this person. It, it's going to kill you to switch up. It might cause for you to go through that can't eat, can't sleep phase. Because you love this person. But you know that love ain't reciprocated. You know it ain't right. You know they don't even deserve to be in your presence so they cannot have access to your life anymore. Somebody ought to comment below. You can't have access to me in 2022. Oh, God. I think, you, I think that's my next life. You can't have access to me in 2022 because I got to switch up so I can get up again. I got to switch up so I can get up again. I don't care if you got to switch up from your mama and daddy. I don't care if you got to switch up from your, 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 your children. I don't care. Baby, some of us, we got these big grown children. Still helping them, baby. I have raised you. Go be great in life. Do you get what I'm saying to you? I don't care. Whatever that is causing your blood pressure to rise up. Be so stressed, yelling, and everything, veins popping out the left side of your temple, all in the middle of your face. You right here looking like a strong, strong man, and you a woman. Oh, Jesus. Stressed out. I'm switching up so I can get up. Not doing it in 2022. My switch up game finna be strong. You hear what I'm saying? B baby, my, my switch up game finna be strong. People about to wonder why they don't see my, my number calling their phone anymore. I, 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 I'm trying to go to a whole nother level. I can't pick up and dial your digits anymore. I ain't acting funny. I love you. I just gotta keep my distance. Why? Because I gotta get up again. Some of you ain't never been as down as you are in your life right now. Ain't never been in this space you've ever been in before. You've been depressed for six years now. When do you get back up again? When does it break you? I got to tell my friend Toya that the other day she was doing, uh, 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 getting a shoot for the author. I don't even know if Toya on here or not, but she, she'll probably see it later. If you on here, comment Toya, you on here. But she was doing the video shoot for her, um, um, you know, Arthur, I've been pushing her to do this for the longest, and I'm so proud of her. You know, she she finally uh, 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 is becoming an author. Congratulations, Toya. Congratulations, Tanya Parker. Just a few women I've been pushing. And I, I said to her when I was recording that video of her while the man was doing the photo shoot, I said, look at her growth. I said, 
This is what your son was waiting on. For you to tell your story. I know he's proud of you. And I always encourage up because I can't tell people not to be depressed. You know, when, when a kid's birthday come around, especially if you lost a child, I don't want to know what it feels like. I, I, a matter of fact, I honor the strength of every person who has lost a child and still going because there are some people they can't get past and they commit suicide too. But what I did tell her is you've elevated. You've accelerated. Prepare yourself in advance so when that time come again, the birthday or the day he, he died, you're going to celebrate instead of allowing the enemy to bound you to a house. You got to get around people who can tell you the truth. You got to get around people who want you to touch the sky and touch the stars. Do you get what I'm saying to you? The enemy cannot have access to your mind, body, and soul in 2022. Get back up again. Tonight's, today's message, if you are just now tuning in, is I switched up so I can get up. I, I, I had to do something a little different. Paul had to have an encounter with God that caused him to be blind for three days. And then God sent Ananias, his angel, to come and allow him to see again. And then there was a name change. Paul became Saul. I want to tell you, the one that's watching this video. When you begin to, I want to tell you, the one that's watching this video, when you begin to switch up, when you begin to move from that area, you say, I ain't going back to that area because every time I go back in that area, it caused me to relapse. I ain't going around them people no more because every time I get around them people, I want to smoke a little dope again. I want to get on Molly. I want to get on Flop. I want to pop Percocets. I want to sniff a little cocaine. When I get around this certain crowd, I've got to switch it up. I'm, I, 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 I can't lay with him no more and invite that spirit in my house because as soon as I lay with him, I feel nasty about it anyways. I know I had no business laying up with him and he got a whole family at home. I got to switch up so I can get up again. Seems like every time I'm connected to him or or her and I, I try to save them I begin to lose everything I switched up so I can get up you know what you need to switch up some of you it may be eating salty foods it's affecting your health or you might got to get up and exercise a little bit it's affecting your health baby do something different I challenge you for 2022 y'all was waiting on me to do my video right so many people was messaging me, Evangelist Shakira, when you going live and everything like that, I need a word, I got to wait on God. But the message is here now for 2022. I got to switch up so I can get up. Let people feel whatever way they want to feel. You got a better you. Some of y'all been crying. And if you that person who been crying, I want you to put down below, I been crying. I want you to, I want to see the crying emojis. Don't worry about who gonna be judging you because you saying that you be I was crying a couple days ago. People don't even know. Watch this. They judging you by your tears. Not even knowing that your tears just water your prayer. You better get. Baby, let me back that up. People might be judging you by you crying. They don't even know that it's something about your tears that are different from theirs. Your tears water your prayers. It's, it's something about when you begin to cry, baby, snotty nose and all, baby, you better get what I'm saying, that God begins to move a little quicker. They don't even know that you, you, your, your crying is not a sign of weakness. Oh, God, that's going to be my life tomorrow. My crying is not a sign of weakness, baby. That just give my angels fuel to come after me. That give my angels fuel to go do what I need God to do. Man, listen to me. People of God, today's message, if you are just now tuning in, was I got to switch up so I can get up. I just heard the Holy Ghost clearly. Watch this. We're going to sow a triple seed on today. The seed amount today, watch this, people of God. It's $22.22. .22. The information is spent to the bottom. It was already people sowing seed. Watch this. Some of you are going to sow $22.22. .22. Some of you are going to go, go quickly and sow $122.00. I always tell people, don't sow into my ministry unless you're believing God for what I said. Because watch this, it's only your faith that got to come in connection with what I said. Some of you, you ain't going to never make it into a church. So this is the first word you heard for the year. Watch this. And God is saying that you got to go. And so, so watch this. I want you to go and sow a $22.22 .22 seed in the memo section. I need you to put, I had to switch up.
You're putting a seed into your 2022 switch up. Some of you is hard. You need God to help you with it. Some of you watch this. You're going to sow a seed for you and everybody in your house. Some of you are going to go and sow $22.22. Some of you are going to sow $122.22. Some people are going to sow $222.22. But we are in the year 2022. And if you look at it, in that year is 222. Two, two. The zero means nothing. So this is where I got my seed from. Do not leave without putting a seed in the ground, people of God. Oh, why is she asking for money? Baby, you must don't understand the way it goes. I'm not asking because you don't got to do it. I don't know your cash app information. But if God is tugging on your heart to give, baby, you better not miss this opportunity. There were already people. I have my phone on vibrate so you guys can't get the notifications. Mm -hmm. But there are people who watch me daily who were who were already sowing. Do you get what I'm saying to you? Do not miss the opportunity. I want you to put in the memo section. I'm switching up. Cash app chime and Zell is 754-246-0580. PayPal is Shakira McFadden with two ends at AOL.com. And watch this. Some of you people of God, you 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 stop trying to have a baby. You feel like you, you know, you too old, you comfortable with being auntie or godmama. Switch up your way of talking. You know you want that child. I dare you. I dare you to have your faith lined up with the words that are coming out of my mouth. Watch God move. I don't care what the doctors say. Watch God move. You got to switch up from thinking it's impossible with a possible God. I don't know what it may be. Some of you, it may be your court case. You putting that $22.22 in the ground for, 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 for you to get a job. Another $22.22 in the ground for your child to come home from jail. Another $22.22 in the ground for God to fix your marriage. So you got to put two twenty two twenty two. I dare you to sow. And watch this. When you sow, people of God, when you sow, and my information is to the bottom. When you sow, people of God, I want you to put, I switched up. I want you to put, I switched up and watch God move. And watch this for the people who are sowing because it's so many people sowing right now. I want you to comment below, I sowed. And, and watch this. I want God to even bless the people who don't have it to give. Somebody might be, I see somebody just sold $12.22. Somebody might, all they got is, 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 is $2.22. Listen, people of God. Listen, people of God, what I'm saying to you. Uh, that Orisha person, that's a fake page. Do not sow. You got to go click on them pages and see. You are sowing into my ministry. Some of these people, they be over in uh, A-Rab and all these people, they making uh, 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 cash shops and things like that. And they putting it in for you to sow. Use wisdom. Pray about it. I always tell people, don't just give into me. Ask God. Don't just give into my ministry. Ask God. Listen, you can also follow me on YouTube at Shakira McFadden. All of my live videos are there. You can follow me on Instagram at evangelist.shakira. I only got one Instagram. Go follow me there. All of those are fake Instagrams. I can't stop it, people of God. I got half a million followers. So with that being said, I can't block everybody. They keep making pages. You understand? And then you can also follow me um, on TikTok at Evangelist Shakira. People of God, listen. Listen. And as you sold... I, I, let me let me pray. Father God, right now in the name of Jesus, everybody who put a seed in the ground, whether it's two dollars and twenty two cent, twenty two dollars and twenty two cent, two hundred and twenty two dollars, two thousand twenty two dollars. God, whatever you told them to sow, I ask that you bless it. Bless it exceedingly and abundantly, God. You know, some people, God, they don't need you to bless them financially. They need you to fix their marriage. Some people, God, is for their children. Whatever the seed may be, I dispatch angels, Lord God, to move quickly. Within the next 22 minutes, within the next 22 hours, within the next 22 days, God, according to your will, I ask that you do it. Touch the hearts of the people. Lord God, they didn't have a dime to put in, God, but they just tagged and they shared. Bless them, too. God, you know, you're, you're, you're bigger than a two fairy. You're bigger than Santa Claus. God, can't nobody give out gifts like you. So God, we thank you that you're doing it now. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Listen, I got to switch up so I can get up. I pray, 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 pray that this message has blessed you. The seed amount is $22.22. .22. 
or $122, but you give according to your heart. I love you, love you, love you so much. Tune in tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Pray my strength as I pray your strength, people of God. And listen, allow God to have his way. Do something mm -hmm. different. Don't mm -hmm. go in 2022 mm -hmm. attached to the same thing that broke you in 2021, 2020, 2019, 2018. When does it stop? You got to switch up so you can get up again. Go and be great. Mm -hmm. I love you. Yes. Cash app, Chime and Zell is 754-246-05. I'm sorry. Cash app, Chime and Zell, 754-246-0580. PayPal is Shakira McFadden with two N's at the mm -hmm. end of it at AOL.com. The information is pinned to the bottom. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. I do counseling sessions. Mm -hmm. If you want um, a counseling mm -hmm. session, text 754-246-0580. Kizzy said, this lady is powerful. I inboxed her years ago about something I was dealing with. She prayed, and guess what? Instantly, it turned around. Mm -hmm. You know what, Kizzy? And I don't even remember. And this is what I try to tell people, Queen. First of all, congratulations to God doing it. Because to him be all the glory. He's the plug. I'm just a person he used to pray and to counsel people and different things like that. But listen. I pray for so many people. People come up to me in the grocery stores. They come up to me everywhere. I, I don't even be remembering. If y'all see me out, people of God, hug me. Come up to girl. I don't be worried about no coronavirus. None of that. Do you hear what I'm saying? Come up to me. Say hi. I love my followers in real life. People are bumping to me in person. I don't care if I'm at dinner with my husband. I don't care if I'm at church. I don't care if I'm out with my friends. They will tell you. That I stop to say hi, to hug people, because people can be on the way to kill themselves. Hugging is serious to me. That's a ministry for me. So come up to me when you see me. I am telling you to. I'm not all popular and famous and all of that crap and acting crazy. Uh -uh, I don't do that. I don't do that. I am the way you see me in real life. I love y'all. God bless y'all. I got to go. I switched up so I can get up. Tune again to me tomorrow. Uh, you know, and you know, every day after that, God allows you. Sometimes I come on at night. Sometimes I come on in the morning. Listen, if you are just now coming on, go back and rewatch this live. I'm saving it now. I got to switch up so I can get up. Switch it up, baby. Love you. Take care.